بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیکچر فائف آر این اے پولی میریز ٹو وچ اس یوزڈ فور دی سنسز آف مسینجر آر این اے دیس اس انہیبیٹیڈ بائی الفا امینیٹین الفا امینیٹین ایچ اس دا ٹاکسی وچ اس پرڈیوزڈ بائی دا Amanita phylloides. Phyll Amanita phylloides. It is known, also known as the death cap. It is the poisonous mushroom and it produces the potent toxic uh, which inhibit the RNA polymerase too. This alpha amanitin, it forms a tight complex with the polymerase and thus inhibit the senses of messenger RNA. RNA polymerase 3, it is responsible for the synthesis of tRNA, 5S ribosomal RNA, and some small nuclear RNA, along with the synthesis of small nuclear RNA. The small RNAs which are present in the nucleus, known as the small nuclear RNA, they are very important for the processing of ribosomal RNA, while the small nuclear RNA present in the nucleus they are also helpful for the processing of the messenger RNA. The mitochondrial RNA polymerase it is also present in the mitochondria and it is mostly resembled to the bacterial RNA polymerase uh, rather than the eukaryotic RNA polymerase and uh, this RNA polymerase it is also used for the synthesis of certain proteins, but most of the proteins they are synthesized by the nuclear uh, messenger RNA. Next is the post-transcriptional modification of RNA. As RNA when they are synthesized both in prokaryotes as well as eukaryotes, they are the precursor RNA. In prokaryotes, their messenger RNA precursor is the same uh, as that of the functional messenger RNA for used for the translational process. But the other ribosomal RNA as well as the tRNA, they are uh, uh, further processed and after processing they give the functional transcript. So the primary transcript of uh, RNA they are the initial, they are the linear, and they are the true copy of the transcriptional unit. Transcriptional unit, it is present on DNA. It contains the regulatory sequence, as well as the coding sequence, as well as the termination sequence. So, starting from the regulatory sequence to the end of the termination sequence, all uh, strengthen the transcriptional unit. From this transcriptional unit, a precursor is formed. This precursor is the primary transcript or also known as the nascent RNA. This primary transcript in prokaryotes and uh, in eukaryotes, it is further processed and this process is known as the post-transcriptionally or post-transcriptional uh, modification. For example, tRNAs they are further modified and uh, give rise the species which is uh, uh, which is functionally active to uh, uh, act as an adapter molecule. tRNA function act, uh, as an adapter molecule. It carry the specific amino acid, bring this amino acid to the uh, codon sequence of uh, present on the messenger RNA. So for this process, it must be modified and after modification, it gives the structural identity so as to perform its function. The prokaryotic messenger RNA is generally identical, mean the nascent messenger RNA as well as the functional messenger RNA is the same. Here there is no nuclear envelope, so the uh, transcriptional process and the translational process, they go side by side in prokaryotes. While in eukaryotes, first of all, the messenger RNA is formed, it's further processed, and then this messenger RNA enter into the cytosol, where the translational machinery is present, and this translational machinery then give rise to the 
polypeptide chain. So the messenger RNA in eukaryotes, it is modified. And this modification may be a co-modification, post-transcriptional modification or post-transcriptional modification. The ribosomal RNA which are synthesized as a nascent ribosomal RNA or the precursor ribosomal RNA, they are further uh, trimmed, cleaved and trimming by certain nucleases uh, which are known as the RNases and these RNases may be exonuclease or may be a endonuclease. So RNAs, ribonucleases, they are used for the uh, excision as well as the trimming of the precursor ribon, uh, uh, ribosomal RNA. The ribosomal RNA, the precursor of ribosomal RNA give rise to three species that is 23S, 16S and 5S ribosomal RNA in case of prokaryotes. While the eukaryotes, the precursor uh, ribosomal RNA they give rise to the 5S ribosomal RNA. This 5S ribosomal RNA is synthesized by RNA polymerase 3. While RNA polymerase 1 is synthesized the 28S, 5.8S and 18S ribosomal RNA. RNA polymerase 2 is synthesized messenger RNA, some of the small RNAs. So, and uh, three also polymerase three also synthesize the tRNA. So different species of polymerases in eukaryotes they synthesize the different species of ribosomal RNA. This 5S ribosomal RNA also undergoes the processing independently from the other three species of ribosomal RNA. The two types of ribonucleases or RNases may be an exonuclease which trim the uh, rib precursor ribosomal RNA or endonuclease which excised or cleave the precursor uh, uh, ribosomal RNA um, used for the processing process. The ribosomal RNA in eukaryotes, mostly it is processed in the, or mostly or usually it is processed in the nucleolus. Uh, and uh, in the nucleolus, the small nuclear RNA, they are required for the processing of uh, um, uh, um, ribosomal RNA in uh, eukaryotes. They, these small nuclear RNA in association with proteins, they form the SNOP. SNOP is the complex for the processing of uh, ribosomal RNA from its precursor RNA and this SNOP complex is formed between the small nuclear RNA as well as the protein. This is the uh, processing process in the uh, prokaryotes. In prokaryotes a long precursor ribosomal RNA it can synthesize this is the long precursor ribosomal RNA. If I use the pen, this is the long precursor RNA. This long precursor RNA, this, this gives rise to different types of species like 16S ribosomal RNA, like tRNA like 23S ribosomal RNA like 5S uh, ribosomal RNA and different types of tRNA. So in prokaryotes, the processing involves the uh, first of all transcription from the transcription or transcriptional unit. This one is the transcriptional unit present on the DNA in uh, prokaryotes. These uh, transcriptional units, it contain the upper motor region as well as the terminator region along with the intervening along with the intervening sequence. This is the 
along with the intervening sequence of nucleotides. Now, this transcriptional unit further give rise to this pre-RNA, pre-ribosomal RNA by the action of different RNAs. RNAs, these are the enzymes to cleave at different, these, they are the different types of RNAs which cleave these precursor RNAs at different sites, at different sites so after the cleavage, they give rise to these units. But further, uh, there, there is a need to uh, uh, further cleavage so as to give rise to functional units. Further cleavage and trimming of these RNAs, is different types of RNAs like this, like this, and also like this. These RNAs, they are used to trim these uh, units into their functional units. Now, after trimming, after cleavage of these RNAs, they give rise to the different types of uh, um, uh, ribosomal RNA species like 16S and 23S as well as the 5S and all of these, they are, uh, uh, these uh, uh, processing take place in prokaryotes. In eukaryotes, the en uh, enzyme RNA polymerase 1, this enzyme, it is used for the synthesis of precursor or pre-ribosomal RNA in eukaryotes. This pre-ribosomal RNA it is destined for the formation of mature 28S, 5.8S and 18S ribosomal RNAs in case of eukaryotes. All of this processing it takes place in nucleolus. The small nucleolar RNA present in nucleolus in association with specific proteins to form a SNOP, a complex which is used for the processing of ribosomal RNA in case of eukaryotes. A 5S species, it is processed independently. It is synthesized independently. It is processed independently in eukaryotes. Now, the next is the transfer RNA. Transfer RNA, the main function of transfer RNA is to carry the uh, amino acids, specific type of amino acids. First of all, it recognizes the specific type of uh, amino acid. Then it attach this amino acid. Then it bring this amino acid to the messenger RNA on a specific codon, so as to addition of this amino acid into a polypeptide chain take place. For this, the transfer RNA, it is its structure is. Uh, uh, just like to carry all of these uh, functions. The transfer RNA, it is formed from a long precursor molecule. And this long precursor molecule, it must be modified. For this mo modification, different processes take place. First of all, the sequence at both heads, at the transfer RNA, it is 5 prime to 3 prime, um, uh, and, and the sequence present at both ends, it must be cleaved. Here, the transfer RNA also contains the intron sequence, and this intron uh, sequence, it is present in the anticodon loop. This intron sequence, it must be cleaved by the action of nucleases. Then, transfer RNA uh, contains the 3' prime end, which uh, contains the sequence must be cleaved first of all, and then addition of the CCA, a nucleotide uh, sequence at the 3' prime end by the action of the enzyme known as the nucleotide transferase. This nucleotide transferase, it at the CCA sequence at the 3' prime terminal end of the tRNA. It must be needed for the proper functioning of tRNA along with tRNA has unique structural features as tRNA it contains the intra um, uh, strand uh, hydrogen bonding so as to form the double uh, stranded structure at certain places along with there is, um, is the base modification and unusual bases are also present in the tRNA so these tRNA they must be modified 
from their precursor molecules so as to carry its proper function. Now, this is the modification by which the tRNA is transformed into its active form or the mature tRNA, how these steps occur. First of all, the, there is the excision, base excision. 16 nucleotide uh, sequence present at the 5 prime end. These 16 nucleotide must be cleaved by ribonuclease P, which is the ribozyme. Ribonuclease P, yeah, ribozyme, it must be cleaved. 14 nucleotide sequence present in the anticodon arm, and this anticodon arm, uh, um, uh, um, these uh, uh, nucleotides, they, they also cleaved by the nucleases. Similarly, at the 3 prima end, there is a usual nucleotide sequence. These uracil residues at the 3 prime end, they must be cleaved uh, and the addition of the CCAOH, the CCAOH nucleotide sequence, they are uh, destined to carry the specific amino acid. So these uracil sequence in green, it must be cleaved and there is addition of CCAA nucleotide sequence at the three prime end. These yellow color, they show many unusual bases which are present in the tRNA. tRNA also shows the extensive intra, um, uh, intra chain hydrogen bonding so as to form the double stranded structure at certain place like this, like this and also like this. Here, the complementary basis like GG, it complements with the CC to form the uh, intra-chain hydrogen building, just like in DNA, but this is the unusual structure in RNA, as RNA is a single-stranded, but here there is a double-stranded structure is present, which is the unusual. This is the nascent tRNA, this one is the mature tRNA after the cleavage at prime, 5 prime side, cleavage the intron present at the anticordon loop, cleavage the uracil residues at the 3 prime side along with the addition, along with the modification of certain bases present in the tRNA. Another small RNA, which is known as the micro RNA, very, very important micro RNAs. And these micro RNAs, they are helpful for the gene silencing. Now, today's the um, most advanced therapy for many diseases is the gene therapy by which, by inserting the small interferon RNA through the external use, or maybe these small interferon RNA, they are produced in endogenous. And similarly, the microRNA, which are produced uh, in the uh, nucleus, then after processing, it holds the expression of messenger RNA by different ways. These microRNAs, they are the silencers, they are the inhibitors for the messenger RNA. These microRNA, they are produced like this one from the microRNA gene. This one is the microRNA gene. The um, prime microRNA, it contains the five prime cap as, as well as the poly A T. While after processing by Dorcha and enzyme, it gives rise to the hairpin structure or stem loop structure like this one by the cleavage of the five prime cap as well as the poly A T. When this structure is formed, which is known as the free microRNA to enter into the new, uh, cytosol here by the action of dicer, by the action of other proteins, they are now able uh, for halting the messenger RNA expression by three ways. They halt the messenger RNA expression as uh, by halting the initiation 
uh, factors, uh, if you can initiation factors of uh, translation by the degradation of earlier tail of messenger RNA or by the messenger RNA degradation itself. So microRNAs were very important for the expression of gene.